President Biden signed his second executive order on access to reproductive health care yesterday. That order aims to help pregnant women travel out of state to get an abortion. State House reporter Morgan Trout tells us it does not make it likely anything will actually change in Ohio's near future. No work to do. President Joe Biden's executive order focuses on expanding reproductive health care. The order addresses help for women or pregnant people who have to travel out of state to get an abortion. It also ensures health care providers comply with federal law. We're thrilled to see further commitment by the president to help protect access to essential health care. Fred Levinson with the ACLU of Ohio says it is already expensive enough to travel in state to get an abortion, so this help is crucial. But Mike Ganadakis with Ohio Right to Life says the president should stop giving pro-choice activists false hope. Well, we would sue if, if the president hypothetically had the authority to do what he didn't. Ganadakis brings up the Hyde Amendment, which prohibits federal dollars from being used to fund abortions. Right now, it's unclear how that law would interact with the Biden's order, and that's mainly because Case Western Reserve University law professor Sharona Hoffman says we are getting ahead of ourselves. All that he can do as an individual is issue these executive orders and try to get the departments that are in charge of certain activities uh, to do what they can. Some people sit and wish, boy, I wish he could just fix this, and he cannot. The executive order just asked the leader of Health and Human Services to consider having Medicaid reimburse the cost. Since the Supreme Court decision, only Congress has the power to enact federal change. But Ohio does have laws that may be passed in the winter that would make it a crime to help someone in getting an abortion, which some conservatives say could mean a person driving the patient out of state. Ganadakis says that despite wanting to end abortion, it would be unconstitutional to stop travel for it. What are we going to do? Put a wall around Ohio and, and check everyone's reasoning and thought process of why they're leaving the state? It's absurd and ridiculous. There's nothing unlawful about assisting anyone to travel out of state. Um, to obtain a lawful abortion. It's now up to the secretary to determine if Medicaid will step in, but advocates on both sides say they are prepared for lawsuits from states and conservative groups. At the State House, Morgan Trout, News 5.